Well, good morning. It's Randy T. Bird out here in Arizona on a Sunday morning, just getting a little ride in. And another little pass through parts of Lehigh that I missed the last time. This is a very cool little area out here in Northern Mesa that a lot of people don't even know about. They're going through today. On this day in early fall here in Arizona, um, temperature's right around 70 degrees right now. It's really nice. Got the ducks there in the, in the irrigation canal. There's some really cool houses in here and some historic stuff. And some construction, which is like a common thing. There's the old Mesa Historical Museum over there. I've never been in there. I've never found it open, actually. Uh, there we are rolling through. I got some farm implements over there. Just a really cool little area through here. It's like a it's like a, a, a throwback to the past. Some cool houses, some old houses here, some big farmhouses and a little farm country. Some of them are kind of rustic, some of them are little mini mansions. And there's a whole bunch of ducks. I love ducks. I don't know why I just do. I don't know. Very uh very strange, I suppose, you know. But ducks amuse me, they always have. I think it goes back to the days of the cartoons, you know, with Daffy Duck and Donald Duck and all all of those ducks. Uh, very cool stuff. Running along the canal there, that actually that high area over there is actually the canal. Brent, I'm by your house. Close to your house anyway. never much traffic through here it's nice I try to avoid the side street traffics whenever I can the freeways are all messed up this weekend they got some kind of construction going on and the usual routes that I take are all messed up and I was watching the news this morning and yeah, they got stuff torn up all over the place it seems like they picked the same weekend to do it all cool house I love this farm country here it's awesome just looked at my gas gauge and I'm getting kind of low here I didn't even think about that before I left gonna have to stop and get some gas here soon gonna run right along the canal here Road ends 400 feet. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Doesn't go exactly to where I need to go, so I guess I'll be turning around and going back to Stapley. No parking, it says. I'm not sure why you would want to park here anyway, but. Okay. Well, a slight detour. All right, going back west now. Anyway, I'm just starting out my ride today, so I'm going to record more later, so I'll be back with you soon. Hey, it's Randy back. Now that I've done my detour, I'm back out on the highway, out of the neighborhood. And just riding today in the beautiful Arizona early fall weather. As I said before, it was 69, 70 degrees when I took off today. And... You know, sometimes the question comes up, why do we ride? I mean, look at this view. When you ride, you not only see everything, you feel it, you smell it. You're not, you're not uh, sequestered away in an in a airtight box, you know, that your car is. And, you know, and nothing wrong with cars. I have cars, I like cars, always have. But there's just more of the total immersion in the experience of being out and even more so when you're out away from town you know some people like riding in the city I, I used to like it a lot um, more th more these days I like being out in the countryside away from town I choose the the quickest routes to get me out of town and uh, 
you know, we do tend to track the same trails over and over again um, sometimes. My life and responsibilities has not allowed me to make any trips the last couple of years, and uh, uh, I really want to get back to that one of these days. But, uh, you know, for right now, I, I am enjoying every bit of time I get out on the bike and uh, taking that as a, as a blessing, so to speak. I've just been able to get out and get away, clear my mind a little bit. You know, it's a, some of the same, the same thing with playing music like I do. It's just, uh, I don't worry about anything when I'm out riding. Like I don't when I'm playing music, it's just, it turns it off. And gone through a lot of things here lately and, you know, getting my mom out of Tucson and she's 91 years old and getting her into a place where she's close to me and uh, literally four miles away and so we can take care of her and not have to worry about her all the time. You know, raising a seven-year-old at our golden age, my wife and I, uh, my wife is a saint for doing this, believe me. And, uh, you know, it keeps you young, I suppose. You know, it is very tiring sometimes, but uh, I'm still working a full-time job. I'm doing a young man's work. No end in sight to that crazy busy at work and again getting out on the bike just removes me from all the stress of work and the things in life that we all go through and just awesome I mean you're out here in the desert you know for you folks that don't live here I, I imagine this is uh, interesting to you and I love the desert as I have said many many times in my vlogs but I also love the mountains and other parts of the country. I love the travel. I haven't been able to do much lately. We did go to Lake Tahoe this summer in the car. And uh, other than a whole lot of <laughs> whole lot of nothing in northern Nevada. Sorry, JP. Uh, but that desert out there is uh, pretty barren, actually. You know, it's there's no cactuses or anything. There's areas and you know everything has an interest when you go through it the first time I was not looking forward to coming back through there but we got through it I'm not a fan of Las Vegas we had to go through there a couple times and uh, just get through that city that city has grown so much and it's just crazy traffic going through there so and we took more of the scenic route coming back through Arizona but I, I wish I could have been on the bike that would have been been great. I have to say that the uh, Nevada Department of Transportation does keep the roads pretty good up through there. Uh, Lake Tahoe was nice, a little crowded. It would have been a lot better on the bike in my opinion, but we did enjoy it and you know, the beautiful scenery. Just like this, I never get tired of this. The, the McDowell Mountains, the, the Red Mountain there, that peak, and I've been on all sides of that, coming back down the way through the Salt River Canyon, or it's not the canyon, it's just the lower Salt River area there. Beautiful, but what do you ride? Do you ride for the thrill of it? Do you ride for relaxation like this? Or you just got an insatiable love of machines? Maybe all of the above. I know I always have, I got my first car at 15. When I was a kid, I built models. I couldn't wait to get that. I've always been in that. I've always been a kind of a terrible mechanic, uh, but I try. Uh, I got a task waiting for me. I've got to rejet my dirt bike because um, it just is running too lean, and I got the parts, and it's just been a little hot until recently in the garage to work on it, and that's a that's a multi-hour project just getting to the carburetor is going to be interesting I mean, I know how to do it it's just uh, I, I watched a couple of YouTube videos on how to how to do that and uh, it involves taking off a whole lot of plastic so we'll get to that soon you know the dirt riding season is coming up and I'm just trying to get this thing running running better uh, everything is so lean these days when you get new stuff I guess the the, uh, the opposite of that is my quad runs really great since I got it out of the box, so it's a lot of fun to ride, is that. Oh, somebody dropped a can. 
there's bikes ahead of me and I thought maybe something fell off one of those bikes. So, guess not. A trike up there. I hear a lot of trikes these days. I don't know if it is the same where you live, but I see a lot of trikes. That's cool. One of my brothers rides a trike. Yeah, he's... He likes it. But anyway, well, you know, you're watching this. You know, you know, drop me a comment. Tell me why you're riding, you know? What what uh, what kind of riding you like to do? I know I got some of my uh, readers that are up in the north, and uh, they're probably closing in on winter up there. And I uh, uh, hope you're enjoying the last parts of fall. And uh, those of you guys that are have to do something different when the weather turns cold, I, I feel for you. It's just turn them right here. If you watch my vlogs, you know I get out in the summer, but I got to go out crazy early in the morning just to keep from burning up, just to keep temperatures some days in the, the lows are in the 90s, so. Anyway, this is Randy T-Bird. I'm headed toward my gas stop and some more riding today. Uh, just such a beautiful day. It's only gonna be about 90 today, so. Anyway, Randy T-Bird out here in Arizona. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, go ahead. It's painless, it's free. It's one of the few things in this world that fit both of those categories just hit the button that has my picture on it and uh, thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed continue to watch I appreciate that too and uh, don't forget to share and like my videos you all have a good morning and good day get out on your bikes and enjoy we'll talk to you later